You my dude, got no time for that How could you moving like you're crazy I ain't call you back, thanks Welcome back to my channel for today. I have this look here, which is inspired by Jordan, uh, Jordan Woods. So I came across this look because, um, yeah, if I just open my timeline, everything is about that situation, if you know what I'm talking about. So I came across her page, was just scrolling through it. She has really beautiful pictures and I came across this look and I'm living for it. I love it. Also because I have no eyeshadow or mascara, nothing below my eyes. I never do that. And then still like, yeah, kind of like a dark, still soft eyeshadow look on top. So if you guys want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Pro Palette from Overa Cosmetics and it's called the Bright Addiction Palette. It's this palette here. It has all these colorful mattes, which is awesome. And these colors come in handy in many looks. I'm going right in with the color Deep Purple. I think this is also the only shadow that I'm going to need for this look. And then with the Morphe M506, I'm going to blend that into my crease. And I'm just going to follow my crease till here. I'm going to wing it out a little bit. And then I'm going to connect it to here. And I'm just going to build that color up until I have it dark enough. Now I'm just going, going to use some concealer and I'm going to clean up the lid, make the crease go a little bit higher. Yes, like that. So I'm softly cleaning up the lid right now. Now I'm just going to set the lid with some powder, some translucent powder, so that it won't crease. I'm going to use this color here, this black color. I'm going to use a wing liner brush. It's from Suiva, the 317 brush. And with that, I'm going to create a soft wing or eyeliner. And now I'm just going to use this smoky shader brush and I'm going to just smoke out that eyeliner. So carnival is right now going on here and this little village where I live, they take it really serious. And I've been hearing music and just loud noises already since the morning. And it's Sunday right now. They can stop right now. It's enough. When I watch um, makeup tutorials from other people, I'm like, wow, I wish I had all that energy to talk this fast and do telling so many stories and everything. But when I apply my makeup, I just totally zone out kind of, and I just chill, relax. I love doing my makeup the most with some reggae music. Uh, but now for the videos, I cannot listen to music because then you would not be able to hear me. Yeah. That's why I'm actually so quiet always. Just focusing and... But maybe I should talk a little bit more. It's really boring to watch, I think. But I'm going to uh, apply these lashes from Umu. The past two weeks, I guess, are totally covered with um, the, sit the whole situation with Jordan. I never really uh, am up to date with these kind of things, but this for this I didn't really had a choice or I should just not open my Facebook anymore. Yeah, I'm not going to give my opinion about or tell like what I think or who is right or I think that's their business. I just feel sad for them that this is just totally out in the open. So now I still kind of gave my opinion. <laughs> But not like really about what I think about the situation. And also, um, we can give our opinion about it. But we never really know what really went down. So there's no point of giving your opinion. I'm right now going to use the Huda Beauty Complexion Free Makeup Base. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me um, Luminous Plus Smooth Foundation. Haven't used this one in a while, so I guess I have to shake it. 
I always forget to shake foundations. Most of the times it makes a huge difference in the application in just how the foundation will look. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, if that would fall on my eyeshadow, <gasps> it would be totally ruined. So I'm applying a lot, as you can see. And that's because this foundation is not really that covering. Like this side, I would like to apply one more layer. But I really, really love the finish of this foundation. This foundation really reminds me of the Hello foundations from Benefit. They are also like soft coverage, dewy, skin-like foundations. And I really love those too. So I have this song in my head the whole day. And if I'm going to put it on right now, I think you will have that too. So if you don't want that, you will have to skip my video uh, right now. <laughs> but this... It will not get out of my head. When I wake up, I hear this in my head. It's called Soko. So Soko. <laughs> Wait. Um Soko. Soko. S O C O from Starboy. I love this kind of music. I'm going to use the Overachiever Concealer from Huda Beauty. This is a really amazing concealer and uh, it covers everything. And don't use too much because this is really um, covering and really thick. You just need a little bit because you will look, it will look really thick if you have too much. Maybe I am already applying a little bit too much right now. And now I'm going to quickly blend it out. Or blend it in actually. This is one of my favorite concealers. I'm going to use the bake powder from Huda Beauty in the color Pound Cake. And I'm just going to use my sponge to press this powder into my skin. Lately I only have been baking, but actually I like the finish of this technique more as that I like baking. Now I just press in only what I will need. What I will need. What I will need. On my face. And I will uh, not have too much product and that it's getting too bright underneath my eyes. And, and also I'm pressing in the powder. And by doing this, I'm also pressing it into my pores. So I can also see a difference in how my pores look after using this technique. I am going to use this palette from Benefit and I kept it in the brush because they have put my name on this little brush. They have like really uh, grafted it into the brush. If you know what I mean, please put it down below how I should say that. I learned a lot of English just by uh, tips from you guys and I really appreciate that because I always want to improve. I do not really bother to have an accent but um, I do bother if I cannot find the words and if I sound like it's just um, hard for me to talk. I want it to sound natural so that's my goal. I was not even planning actually on filming a chit, chit chat video but I guess it's turning into that right now. I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer. Also, how is this blush called? Dandelion. I don't know if I've pronounced that name right. I've never heard of this word or name. Um, for blush. And I'm also just super excited to try out this new uh, highlighter from Anastasia. So I filmed a video before this one, another makeup tutorial, and I used this uh, the lighter one, which actually really looked beautiful on my skin. I really thought that this one would be too light, so I'm, I don't know how this one is going to look on my skin, 
I was shook because when I swatched it with my sister when it came in, we were like, this is kind of a powdery highlighter and it would not really glow. But when I tried it today on my skin, I was totally shook. So I made a schedule for myself. I really need one because I have a really busy life with going to school full time and doing this kind of full time. I'm posting every day and I'm every day actually working on this. So two things full time and um, I really need a schedule. There's not a lot of time to film a few times in a week. So I film just everything all at once in one day. So every Sunday is my filming day. And if you want to know what I will post the coming week, you can just check my Snapchat on Sunday. And then I will always have one makeup tutorial up every Tuesday. I went from uploading three times a week to once a week now because I could not handle it. It was too hard for me to do that next to school. But for now, it's just only one makeup tutorial every week. And I will get back to the vlog soon, but for now, I have nothing planned to vlog. I just will have my exam weeks and everything. I will be learning. Super boring. Sorry, I'm talking way too much. I'm talking way too much. But just so you know that that's why I'm not vlogging right now, but I will be back with the vlogs because I know that you guys request mostly vlogs actually. Here and there I will have a vlog up when I will do something in the weekends, but for now I'm learning. Okay, shut up, beautiful creature. Just her colors and her eyes, look at her eyes. Huh? How amazing these highlighters are. But you couldn't expect less from Anastasia. I really wanna try out the setting spray, but she did not send those to me. Normally she sends the whole new collection to me, so maybe I will still receive it and if not I will um, I will have to buy it or I will just contact them. I will contact them that I'm dying to try it out. So she had more of a gold inner corner so I'm going to use the Meraki Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in Asteria. I'm going to use this Ico Brow Gel to just brush my brow hairs a little bit in place. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Spice Girl. And on top of that, this, this lip gloss in Toffee from Anastasia. So I changed my clothing. Because I just didn't like how it looked. My teeth are, I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but I'm eating this. This is, by the way, drop. This is something really Dutch. I don't know if you guys know that. Drop. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys need to try that. Drop. That's. I sent it one time to a friend from Texas and he thought it was disgusting. Well, we in the Netherlands freaking love it. You guys really need to try it. And if you ever do, let me know what you think of it. I really want to know. Okay, anyways, um, this is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and liked the look. It's actually a really simple look. So don't forget, if you recreate my look, make sure to tag me if you post it on Instagram. To tag me so that I can repost you and put you on my story. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next Moving video. Moving like you're crazy, I ain't call you back, thanks. Leave me alone